कोरोना वैश्विक महामारी पार्श्वभूमि विद्या शालेय शैक्षणिक नुकसान हो छोटा सा वीडियो घेन देता है जर तुम्हारा हा वीडियो आवड़ा तो तुम्हें तो लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब करा हाई फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सागर माने ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेलकम इन आवर ब्रह्म कोचिंग क्लासेस बिकॉज ऑफ द इमर्जेंसी ऑफ द कोविड नाइनटीन ऑल ऑफ यू आर मिसिंग युअर स्टडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी आर रिप्लेनिशिंग युअर स्टडी राइट नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ युअर सायंस वन सिलेबस फ्रॉम आई थिंक इट इज टेकिंग फ्रॉम फिजिक्स चैप्टर वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इज द ग्रेविटेशन When we talk about the gravitation, all of you well known about gravitation. Gravitation is the one kind of the force. Ultimately, one question arises in your in your mind that is, uh, what is meant by force actually? Force that we have to study in the previous standard in ninth standard. What is the force? Force is a uh, nothing but a, a object having a mass uh, in in change in velocity that we call as like, so, acceleration. So in mathematically. Force is nothing but F is equal to mass into acceleration. The SI unit of the mass is kilogram, and acceleration is meter per second square. Therefore, SI unit of the force is kilogram meter per second square or newton. Here we are going to discuss about gravitation force. It is a one kind of the force. When we talk about the force, there are four major forces exist in this universe. these are number one is a gravitational force number second is a electromagnetic force number third is a strong nuclear force number fourth is the weak nuclear force so as per our neighbor topic is a gravitation in this entire topic we will discuss about the gravitational force when we talk about the gravitational force or term gravitation arises in our mind ultimately the the image of the famous scientist sir isaac newton comes in your mind uh, with that of this uh, video we are talking about gravitation up to the recent uh, quantum gravity all of you are well known the newton story of a uh, apple fall on him once one time when newton sat under the tree of a apple apple fall on him and thereafter newton start to thinking the why apple comes in downward direction not only down downward but also it is a comes uh, perpendicular downward towards the center of the earth now we are explaining this concept of a gravitation with the help of this uh, figure imagine that this is the earth and uh, this is an apple tree now apple comes downward direction it is not only downward but perpendicular downward direction and to the center and because of that newton think about that why the apple fall on the ground it in any forces the apple comes in the motion as per newton's law of motion he given a three laws of motion uh, law of inertia uh, about the second law and third law with the book all three laws newton suddenly start to thinking over that the any why apple comes in the motion because of force okay and that force is the gravitation force same same things same things he applied uh, on a things which are apart very far away from earth uh, that is a celestial body like a moon and other planet okay as you know the gravitational force is uh, directed towards the center means any force that earth attract it shows close relation with the a uh, circular motion and centripetal force right now we are talking about what is mean by circular motion the simple definition of circular motion is that the motion of the particle along the circumference of the circle is called as circular motion lots of examples are there that's planets uh, moving around the sun this is one example of a circular motion right now we are talking another concept what is mean by centripetal force to get this concept centripetal force we are performing one experiment imagine that uh, this is uh, one tray that uh, one stone is tied to, uh, to this uh, stone you if you continuously rotating that uh, stone continue in, in in a such a way at that time in the rotating that string 
uh, in Marathi that we call as a Gopal. Okay, so certain question arises in your mind when you are rotating that uh, string continuously. At that time, which force acting that uh, on a stone? In which direction the force is acting? We are trying to find out answer of these questions. Whenever you are rotating the string continuously, at that time you are pulling the stone towards yourself. Means what actually anything force acting at the center, okay? And this force is nothing but a centripetal force. So simple definition of centripetal force is that the force which are directed towards the center of the body is called as centripetal force. It is also called as a center setting force. Okay. If the force stops, the stone will release in the tangential direction. In the tangential direction, and this is the direction of the force. In centripetal force, as we as we as I told. You know the force which is directed towards center is nothing but a centripetal force. Same kind of because of same kind of the force that is the moon is rotating around the earth and all the planet are also rotating around the sun. Okay, this is a center setting force or a centripetal force. Before going to discuss Sir Isaac Newton's universal law of gravitation, uh, I'm I'm talking here, telling here in a brief this law is. The force of attraction between the two points having masses. Uh, we are uh, talking about two men who did a pioneer work uh, in the physics in related to motion. One is uh, Copernicus, second one is a uh, Kepler, and third one is a uh, Galileo. The Galileo stated one law of inertia. The simple definition of inertia that we have to study in the ninth standard. The inability of a body to change its position by its own. Means example is that in Marathi, inertia is uh, nothing but a zaratva. Udaran se aise zaratva samsa paida na varse kada dagar hai. To kadi par andar aare dil par hai. Jo par tumi tala kada bahayon force lawa hai. Kya ma ajo ne ko udaran de aise zaratva. To samsa ekadi motor cycle hai. Ti kadi par in tala karna hai. Jo par tumi na tumi lab break apply karte to par hai. This is the law of inertia. The force. Because of the force, object comes into motion. This is the law given by uh, Galileo. It actually, it is also law of Newton's first law of motion. Another scientist, that is the Copernicus, the first man who stated that planet is a, not a constant; they are moving continuously. Sun is at the center of the this galaxy, and all the planets, including the Earth, they are rotating around the sun. This is the law given by. Copernicus. Another one is the Kepler. With the help of observation, Kepler given a three laws, and that we called as a uh, Kepler's planetary law of motion. Okay, that we are talking about Kepler's law. Right now we are talking about first law of Kepler. Kepler's first law. First law. Here is the diagram. The first law of Kepler is that. The orbit of the planet is an ellipse. The sun has a foci. Means what actually? Planets are rotating around the sun in ellipsoidal way. Okay. And sun is at the center. The first law is that the orbit of the planet is an ellipse. Sun is at the foci. One one words uh, comes in your mind. What is the ellipse? Ellipse is nothing but a take one cone. And cut that cone in inclined angle, you will get an ellipse. Okay, this is the first law of Kepler. Right now, we are talking about second law of Kepler. Kepler's second law. Second law. The second law of Kepler is that the line joining between planet and sun sits equal area in equal interval of the time. For example, with the help of this figure. Any planet, this uh, distance a b, time required this, uh, to cover distance a b is equal to uh, distance c g. Okay, means planet, this planet, uh, cover distance a b in uh, something that is a phi hour. So c g also required a phi hour. So right now we are talking about Kepler's third law of planet. Kepler's third law. Kepler's third law is that 
the square of the period of the revolution around the sun that is the t square it's a directly proportional to the cube of a mean distance between a planet and the sun once again i'm uh, certain, uh, telling that law that is a square of a period of revolution that is a t square it's a directly proportional to the cube of a mean distance between planet and sun that is a t square it's a directly proportional to the r cube that we can write also in this way t square divided by r cube is equal to k and that is be called as a k plus constant okay so uh, remaining part of this topic means uh, newton's universal law of gravitation about newton's story in uh, cambridge and oxford we will discussing in the next video uh, if anybody has doubt regarding to this content uh, they can call me uh, on my number given below